because I don't really shoot it anymore. And um, so I brought that one on the team. And yeah, the guy said, yeah, there's a Lions Club shooting range, but it's far away. And uh, so, I don't know, we were bored one day, and we looked it up and realized it's not far from us because we're, we're way up where the shooting range was, so it was only like 20 miles. So we went out there, and uh, man, that was a nice setup. I think I sent you some photos, but uh, it's open 24-7, 365. You just pull out there, there's no gate, nothing. It's a parking lot and uh, a bunch of tables uh, and a bathroom um, just out in the middle of nowhere. Um, there's no lights out there, so I guess if the light, if it got dark, it'd, you'd be screwed, but it says on there that, you know, we just show up out here and shoot and uh, NHRA uh, or NRA rules, um, clean up after yourself, throw everything away, put your grass away, um, make it like you're, you were never there, and everybody enjoy it. Now I can hear you. Oh, that was a good deal then, Clark. Yeah. Yeah, you just sent me some really nice pictures. Go ahead, David. Oh, no, okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, I could hear both of you guys. It was nice and loud. Yeah, much better, man. How you, how you doing? I'm uh, doing all right. Uh, you know, we're just processing everything. But uh, we had a big storm today, as uh, Terry probably told you. It was unbelievable, Terry. It was three hours of steady rain. Yeah, you know, it um, wasn't yesterday, but the day before we had that, we put the hay on, I sent you the pictures, and then uh, yesterday, uh, after we came back uh, from the um, from the car, show, car club meeting, um, you know, it was raining on the way back, but when we got home, it was like two hours of that. I mean, it sounded like uh, somebody was beating on the roof. I thought the air conditioning was running or something. It's like, hell, you know, it's raining that hard. <laughs>
now. But we don't have a great internet connection here. You know, I don't know what's going on, but we only got one bar. And it's a little short to do anything you want. Like, five hours or 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 in the house and in the uh, RVs and stuff, just watching uh, watching TV and whatnot. So that's probably why it's slow. But um, yeah, when you get some time, look, I, I put the, a video and some some photos and stuff up there. Uh, so right on the right in the backyard of this place was a, a, a raging river with white water, and uh, I would take uh, take her out there every day uh, with a harness and a, and a long heavy duty leash, and she would just barrel right into the white water and perch herself up on rocks and attempt to do fishing. Um, <laughs> it was like she was just made to do it. Uh, there wasn't any fish in the river. I, I could actually see uh, the bottom of the river with polarized glasses, and I never saw a single fish come by, which is weird. Uh, but uh, she sure tried. So she, she went all the way under uh, a couple times and uh, just swam, uh, swam through there and... Uh, uh, just absolutely loved it. Okay, so you weren't worried about the current on the river? I wanted to allow her to go into an area where it was uh, it, it was strong. Uh, you know, we, we we would walk up the bank uh, to where you know to where it was it was an area where I, I could walk out myself. Um, but yeah, I, I would definitely worry if I if she wasn't on leash. You know, uh, um, she she could be in real trouble. Uh, but uh, she's a very, very strong swimmer, you know. We were uh, we were taking her in areas where it was safe. Oh, okay, that's great. And then I saw that picture of the tire uh, through, uh, is it the rim and the wheel or just the wheel? No, it's the tire. I mean, I don't know. I'm not going to know if the rim is bent until they take the tire off. Uh, but, uh, no, I mean, we, we, we get a, uh, there was a construction zone. Uh, on the highway in New Mexico, on, on this uh, small highway, this country road, and uh, it looked like they cut a, a section of the road out for a pipe or something, and uh, they filled it with gravel, but the gravel was gone, and so we went over that thing about 45 miles an hour, and it banged the tire. Of course, we didn't know that it had the blister, and I checked the tire in uh, Gallup, and I didn't see any damage. So the blister happened after Gallup on the way down. Uh, but I, I didn't have any vibration. You know, I had the, the tire pressure up on the on the screen. I was monitoring it, and it was 36 pounds, you know, on all the tires. So uh, the, the, the car was smooth as glass all the way to the driveway. When I got out, when I got out to unload the car and saw that, that bubble, I just was shocked. Yeah, okay, but uh, where is the tire now? Is it, is it, is it, is it take it off? No, the car's sitting in the driveway. It's not a commission. Yeah, we can't drive it anywhere. I mean, I I called the tire store. I, I bought the uh, the certificates for those tires. I, I got them, I think, about six to six or seven months ago. And I bought the road hazard, but they don't make the tire anymore. And so they want to put on a, a different, one single different tire, and I'm not okay with that. Is it the same size and same tread pattern and everything? No, uh, it's not. They want to put on a, a completely, totally different tire. And I said, no, I'm not doing that. And so we're, we're kind of at a, a standstill um, because I just I, I said I'm not going to do that. It's a, it's a modern car with uh, um, all these electronic features, and I'm just not okay with that, you know. I'm not going to put one brand new uh, uh, di different tire on. So the, the guy's trying to find me one of the tires. If not, I'll, I'll have to go and buy a whole set of tires for the car. Wow. Yeah, that's interesting. I mean, I guess, is this a van or the truck? It doesn't matter to me. I'm, I'm not going to have one different make and type of tire on my modern car. I'm just, I'm just not going to do that. You know, Terry Wharton and I already discussed this, but I just, I, I wouldn't be okay with that. So if they, they, they said that they'll pay for one tire, so I would just have to buy three. So, uh, you know, it, it is what it is. But I'm, I'm either going to get a whole new set of tires, or he's going to find me one of those. Then I'll, I'll pay for three. You know.